Hey, Scott Machine Gun Dad, welcome back to the channel. Um, if you've been following me at all, I recently did a video on why police officers can be distant and uh, hard to deal with, uh, cold, uh, thick skinned, and it was pretty sad stories. I don't want you to think that all my career was sad, so I, I thought about other stories to tell you. So I'm going to tell you another story. We're going to go back to when Christ was a corporal, back to 1983. Young guy right out of the academy, still had hair was thin, didn't have a chicken wig. My first station was in Greensburg. Greensburg was a headquarters unit. Large, large unit. So we qualified in October. I got out of the academy in September. So even though I had qualified at the academy, I had to go back out and qualify in October. So since I was a new guy, I wasn't allowed to be a firearm instructor. It doesn't matter how much I know about guns. The state doesn't work that way. The old guys get to be the firearms instructor. But I wanted to learn how to be a firearms instructor because we had a very unique course of, you know, because we used Ruger Security 6, 357s. You had certain, you know, like two up, four down, reload, two down, four up, all that kind of stuff. When we even actually shot from 50 yards, that's how antiquated our uh, firearms training was at the time. But nonetheless, so here I am, a new guy, all about you know, state police, you know, oh, Lord, you know, we're the best of the best of the best of the best, hey, all that crap. So, I do my qualification, and then the next day I am on 3 to 11, but they're shooting. So I wanted to come in early and watch them qualify so I could actually pay attention to the course and learn the course. So the one guy, the one firearms instructor, I'll just tell you his first name was Denny, really nice guy. When we qualified, we used a clipboard, and on the clipboard, uh, yeah, yeah, hey, officer's name, gun, serial number, and then you usually recorded it in pencil. Uh, why? Because pencil works when it's cold, and ink doesn't necessarily work when it's cold. And when we marked the targets, the state was never uh, willing to spend for pasties, so we used to carry a Sharpie, and we would mark off the old outside the ring hits so you knew how to score them. So that so if you were a firearms instructor, you had a pencil and a sharpie and your clipboard. Denny carried the state pen. State pen was a black pen this big. It was one of the ones a clicky pen with a silver clip, and that was the only pen we were allowed to carry in our uniform pockets because it the silver pen on it. So we're out on the firearms range, and I'm like, and I noticed Denny has this pen, and I'm like. You know, we're in civilian clothes. I'm like, what's with the, the state pen? He says, oh, 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 that's the official state 38 caliber pen. And I'm like, what are you talking about? He says, well, we got a couple of lieutenants that can't shoot. So when you come up to score their targets, you pull out your 38 caliber pen and they pass the qualification course. And I was like horrified that they would, you know, slough in somebody's scores on a revolver. So I didn't say nothing, but I was like, oh my God, oh my God, what's going to go on? So a couple days later, we're back on regular rotation, and I asked Denny in the locker room, and I said, what's the story with that? He says, well, 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 well kid, you'll learn this, kid. You fell a lieutenant on a qualification course, and you'll be working midnights for the rest of your freaking life. On top of that, lieutenants don't go out on the road. Doesn't matter if they can shoot because they ain't coming out to help you. I would never do that for guys that work the road, but I'm not stupid enough to want to not see my wife and kids for the next 15 years of my career because I failed a lieutenant who couldn't shoot. Hence, when you become a firearms instructor kid, get yourself a 38 caliber pen because you're going to need it. That's a state police story. Thanks for coming to the channel.